love-inducing psychological hacks. Marketers are very, very clever, much more so than academic psychologists. During the 2010s, there was a problem in the field of psychology, commonly referred to as the replication problem. The replication problem was a function of how psychological studies were performed. Firstly, psychological studies that get famous need to have data. They need to have data that is interesting and significant. Whoever can do the most studies that have the most interesting results gets the most funding. The replication problem was because so many of these academics were rushing to do studies, many of them couldn't be repeated. One common idea that academics believe is that the world of academia is more pure than the dirty world of money-making. But consider this idea. In the world of money-making, the results are much more likely to be accurate. Consider two psychologists. One stays in the world of academic studies. The other works in the dirty world of money-making. The academic does all kinds of weird studies on weird ideas hoping to get into the big leagues of being famous in the mainstream, of doing a study on how the brain works or something similar. They get a grant, do a study, find something interesting, and publish a paper. This gets picked up by the mainstream news and shows up on the news feed of us common people. And we talk about this kind of thing at parties so we can sound intelligent. Did you hear about that latest study? It turns out that when you think about blue objects, you're much more likely to chew 20% more times while eating vegetables. Isn't that crazy? Sure sounds cool to talk about. It allows us normal people to imagine that we know some inside secrets of the human brain. But what about these dirty psychologists that work for the evil money-making capitalists? They don't care so much about being famous or being known for discovering interesting things. What do they care about? making money. If they are right, they make money. If they are wrong, they don't make money. The absolute best feedback loop, one that will produce the most useful results. So one only has to look around and see the go-to marketing strategies everybody uses to understand everything you need to know about psychology. Because ultimately, we all need to sell ourselves. As much as we'd like just to show up and be recognized for our inner selves, the world doesn't work like that. We need to present ourselves to the world as valuably as we can. For jobs, for friends, for dates, for sex, for relationships. And all we need to do is look around and see the psychological tricks the very best marketers are using and have been using. Because they work. They work to sell products. And they'll work to sell you. To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash scarcity dash generator.